Okay, hey y'all. Hi, how are you? I know I'm late. I know I ain't been on YouTube in a minute. We're going to make this quick um, because I turned my truck off and it's super hot. I'm in, I don't know where I'm at. Probably somewhere near Alabama. So, um, anyways, as y'all can see by the title, I'm about to talk about this very terrifying experience that I encountered. Um, and I'm also about to be eating. Um, you guys have not been updated, but beforehand, I was a pescatarian. After I hit my year mark, I planned on eating chicken again. And so, I'm eating chicken again. Um, now, don't be fooled by this, okay? Because I'm technically about to get off this truck in about two weeks which i will put an update video just letting y'all know why that is but um being that that is the case i'm going to get on a very strict diet when i get off this truck because me and my daddy got this um competition to see who's gonna have the best abs by the end of this year and you know your girl about to win okay and so don't be fooled by this food because i got something up my sleeve my daddy not gonna win that's just period but anyways <laughs> so um I'm not about to keep talking. I'm about to talk about this experience that I encountered. And it is, I ended up with bed bugs on this truck, okay? While I was on this truck, I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. So stay tuned. I got macaroni and cheese, greens, and this rotisserie chicken, okay? Um, and I ordered it from Publix. All right, that's enough. That's enough. All, right, All right, so how are we about to start this story off? So anybody who knows about... Um, driving with the company your company pretty much pays for everything that is um outside of like your daily food and water and things like that so they pay for the truck getting fixed or at least my company does but they pay for the truck getting fixed they pay for your lodging so if you need to stay at a hotel or whatever da, 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 they pay for all of that while um your truck is getting fixed so um my truck needed to get fixed i don't necessarily even remember what needed to be fixed i think i actually just needed an mtp which was like it's one of those things where your truck has to go in and get its you know quarterly inspection so i i went and got an inspection done and the timing in which i came in was um later in the day and so it was gonna lead up until the next day so they were like oh, okay so we'll just get you a hotel Mind you, I've been getting a hotel, right? Every time that I um, need something done or whatever the case, whenever I end up not being able to stay in my truck overnight, I end up going to get a hotel. They pay for it. They choose the hotel, right? Sometimes I end up with a roommate. I don't like that. I would much rather have a room to myself, but sometimes I end up without one. Again, it's not my choice. I can pay to not have a roommate, but I'm cheap, so I just let it be as long as it's not a bunch of days. So anyways, so um, they ended up lodging me um, at this motel looking place. I'll be honest with you, all of the hotels are pretty much sketchy. Like they're the cheaper hotels. They're not about to put you in no three, four, five star hotel. They're about to put, well, they'll probably put you in a three star, but that's about the most that they'll put you in. So um, this one, I don't even remember the name of it, but it was like one of those sort of ran down hotels. It wasn't like the really, really nasty looking motels. Like what is it called? Super eight or nothing like that. It wasn't like that. It was um, like, I guess you would consider it like one of those private owned um, franchise hotels that is like mom and pop hotel. Anyways, so, ooh, it's getting hot in here. So, okay. So, I'm not even eating. Wow. Okay, let me start eating. So, we ended up getting me this hotel room. And mind you, I'm in Omaha, Nebraska. I even took pictures in this hotel. I was chilling. I was like, um, I was telling myself, okay, I'm just going to recuperate in this hotel room and things like that. Now, let me backtrack. I don't know if I'm airing out something that people don't already know. Or maybe it's only me because I'm not trying to air out everybody else's business. So, I'm going to just say it's only me. But, um truck drivers normally or at least i don't take showers every single day it's 
possible all right let me break this down real quick because i feel like people are not going to understand what i mean when i say that um you can't take showers every day you can take showers every day but it is a little bit more difficult to get a shower every day and the reason why is because number one you need shower points in order to receive a shower every day a free shower otherwise you can pay for it but it's about 14 12 14 dollars right not everybody's trying to pay that amount of money so that's number one number two in order for you to receive those shower points you need to fuel at that specific truck stop there's like four different five different truck stops um and if you fuel at one company say for instance loves then you have to get that shower at that truck stop you know what i'm saying because the rewards card is for that specific company so if you pull up to loves and get your fuel points to where you can get a shower and then you stop for the day at a pilot that those fuel points that you gained won't work at that pilot and so you won't have a free shower there that's number one number two is sometimes um you don't end up staying at a truck stop at the end of the day sometimes you end up at a rest area rest areas don't have uh, showers so you probably don't want to do that but it happens sometimes your shipper may take too long to load up your truck or unload your truck or whatever and it's a lot harder to find a truck uh, a parking spot at a truck stop than a rest area because truck stops are get more people in because people want to take showers things like that so that being said yes you can get a shower in every single day if you truly 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 need to but when it comes down to making money making sure that you aren't stressed out getting enough sleep because once you pull pull up to wherever you're trying to stop at for the day you only got a couple hours before you hit your eight hour mark because don't get me wrong they give you 10 hours to sleep right but you need to at least have eight hours of sleep to be productive some people can sleep off less but i'm not one of those people so i say that to say that i try my best to use my time wisely so overall showers are something that i have decided my body don't work in a way that i guess someone who has a higher metabolism will work in in other words I don't get stinky after the sun went down and came back up. You know what I'm saying? Like, my body does not produce sweat like that. I'm not someone who, you know, needs to take a shower immediately following the next day. So, not to ramble, but um, it's possible for those who feel like, you know, I need to take a shower every day. But I'm not one of those people. I'm, I'm going to still be, you know okay after the second day but i'm not going to exceed too many days because i just don't think that that's hygienic but yeah back to this sorry to you know disrupt i don't i don't always take a shower every day so i'll probably take a shower every other day i don't like to skip over one day because to me that's a little od but so um with this being said once i got in this hotel room i'm like okay cool i get to take a very long shower i'm about to relax you know i'm about to enjoy the rest of the day i'm gonna eat and i'm gonna you know just watch youtube videos or whatever i did i probably just watched netflix or whatever so that's what i did and then in the morning i packed all my stuff took another shower since you know i was taking advantage of that and then um i washed my hair i mean i did all of that i planned on washing my clothes there but their laundry was like two dollars 75 cents for one load and that was just the washing machine so i would have had to pay that much for the dryer too so i'm like no i'm gonna wait until i go back to this terminal and then i'm going to my trucking terminal my um my company's terminal i'm gonna go there and they have laundry facilities there and they're cheaper so i ended up leaving the hotel and i got to my terminal so they have a shuttle where they go from the hotel to the terminal that's what happened so once i got there to the terminal they were still doing my truck so i'm like okay well i don't feel like lugging this big old bag so for the moment can i put my bags in my truck so i did that i put my bags in the truck and then um i took took a few of my clothes to go take them to the laundry service 
so i was doing laundry and i was chilling again and i was i think i was just watching netflix or whatever i'm just sitting in this community room where um other truck drivers sit it's like a lounge area while i'm doing my laundry so i'm just chilling right i already got it in my mind it's really late in the day i'm probably just gonna chill for the rest of the day even if they get done with my truck i'm just gonna chill and then i'm gonna start driving again tomorrow start fresh right so i would say about 5 30 p.m they end up getting done with my truck i take my truck and um my laundry's done so i bring my laundry into my truck and everything and i start unpacking everything and i ended the day off and i'm like all right cool today was a cool day i got a few things done i was able to relax overnight and all of this stuff right so the next day i start my trucking off as usual and everything's like fine everything's normal you know my truck just got serviced everything's cool boom right so this is where things get tricky so like i told y'all sometimes i'll skip a day when it comes to taking a shower so since i took a shower that night and that morning when i was in the hotel the next day i skipped the shower and then the day after i went to go take a shower so i get to this truck stop for the day i think it was like at the end of the day and most times when i'm taking a shower i'll brush my teeth first because i brush my teeth in the morning anyway but when i'm in there and i'm actually able to be in the it's like a habit when you are in the bathroom you just brush your teeth when you're about to take a shower so that's what i do so i was brushing my teeth or whatever and um as i was brushing my teeth mind you i was prepared to get in a shower so i didn't i wasn't dressed all the way and as i'm brushing my teeth you know i'm looking in the mirror and something caught my eye on my body so i look down and there's this bump now i don't have acne prone skin um but this wasn't an, an alarming thing to me because it looked like a mosquito bite so i was like hmm okay interesting when i touched it at first it didn't itch but after i finished touching it it started itching so after i touched it the initial time i ended up having to go back to scratch it like oh, something's it's itchy so to me i'm like i'm not thinking too much of it to me it was a little odd that there was a mosquito bite on my stomach and not somewhere like obvious like on my arm or something and it was even more odd that i'd never felt the mosquito bite me right so i'm like interesting weird but i didn't think nothing of it but after scratching it a few times i look again and there's another bite a little bit further up and it's like in this line so it was like one bite here and then one bite here and i was like hmm all right <laughs> now that bite i touched it and after i finished touching it to you know like feel for it, like oh, okay this is a this feels like a mosquito bite too after i touched it it started getting itchy too so i'm like interesting i got two itchy bites on my stomach i can't recall being bitten you know and on top of that it's like mosquito bites and it's on my stomach you know what i'm saying so immediately i think okay i don't think this is a mosquito bite could it be a spider bite but to me it just i felt like i would have felt it so it was sort of throwing me off so i ended up googling it so i googled it and sure enough google likes to tell you all types of scary things and one of the things that it said was um if you find a, a bite and it's diagonal to another bite it could be a bed bug bite and in my mind i'm like 
bed bug, you know, like, so after I Google this, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I was freaking out, right? But I didn't want to freak out too much because I'm like, okay, it's only two bites, right? And I'm like, all right, um, you more than likely got bit at the hotel. Like, so this is what I'm telling myself. You more than likely got bit at the hotel. There's no chance that you have bed bugs in your truck because, um, you did laundry and you took a shower and you washed your hair you know like i'm just telling my stuff this telling me this stuff and i'm like you know what don't freak out about it just you know continue on with your day and just pay attention so after that i took a shower and everything and sort of was freaking out but i was trying to coach myself like oh it's okay just be calm So that night, I go to bed. I try to make myself fall asleep. The next day, I'm chilling. I sort of like put it behind me. I stop thinking about it. Da, 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 da. Okay, I want to explain myself a little bit better right now. So, okay. I saw those first two bites, right? And then I ended up taking a shower and I came back to my truck and I went to sleep. The next day, I did notice a new bite. However, I didn't think it was new because it was very small and it was around the same area that the first two bites was. So I told myself, well, maybe that bite was there and I just hadn't noticed it because it was very small in comparison to the other bites. So with that in mind, I sort of still concluded in my head like, um, you don't have any new bites. You just didn't notice that bite. So I guess I was still in denial. So yeah, sorry, back to the story. And then I skipped that day on taking a shower. The day after, I go and I take a shower. And at this point, it's out of my mind. I'm not even thinking about it no more. Until I get in the mirror. Now, this time I get in the mirror, it's more bites on my stomach, clearly. But the bites have gone down to my thigh. So now, I'm over here like, is there a chance that you just didn't notice these bites? You know, you know when you psych yourself out because you try not to freak out, you're trying not to live in that horror of knowing that you have bed bugs or you have this thing is true, you know? Cuz all the evidence is pointing to the fact that there has to be bed bugs on my truck. But I'm just trying to tell myself no, it can't be, it can't be, it can't be because that is terrifying, you know? So I'm noticing these bites and I'm like you know what it's like an 89% chance that there are bed bugs in your truck but for the life of me I'm like how I took a shower I didn't see any bed bugs when I was in a hotel I, I washed my hair I did laundry so everything that was in my hotel room was washed and then I thought no you did laundry but you brought those bags in from the hotel into your truck and i was like could they have been in my bag like when i tell you i was sis that that freaked me out right so once i took a shower and everything I washed my hair, I came back into the truck, and I started like stripping stuff. I'm like, I gotta be able to, you know, cause I was Googling everything, and mind you, I already knew like, you know, you, there are telltale signs in which you can figure out if you got bed bugs or not. Like, nasty to say, but it's true. If you have like, if you find like a smear of blood on the sheets or whatever, nine times out of 10, that's because a bed bug was smushed while you were sleeping. Like, so I'm looking for stuff like this, and I don't see anything. I don't see any bugs. I don't see any, you know, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. I'm telling you, I was re I was looking through everything. Couldn't find anything. But at the same time, this truck has plenty of nooks and crannies. You know, it's a truck. It has so many areas where, you know, you probably lose a, a pen and won't be able to find it for the rest of your life. <laughs> so... Once that happened, I was pretty much like, okay, I don't see anything, but I'm getting bites. I knew I needed to call my job at this point because it was really just the, 
even though I couldn't find any bed bugs, I felt like there should be no way that I'm getting bites, you know? So I called my company and when I called them, they were like, well, what took you so long to call us if, if you got bed bugs from the hotel room? And I'm like, cause <laughs> I was, I wasn't even thinking that I brought them with me, you know, like I'm over here like, well, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I was in denial and they're like right so I sort of felt embarrassed because part of me felt like they felt like I already had bed bugs and I used the hotel as an excuse or I don't know you know how you think like oh my god they probably think I'm like the dirtiest person in the world that's how I felt so I am starting to sweat honey anyways so they have a protocol for this type of stuff. I didn't even know there was a such thing as a protocol for bed bugs, but they do, right? So they had me pull up to a terminal, one of their terminals, and I had to take all of my belongings out of the truck. This is what they're telling me, by the way. They're telling me I have to take all of my belongings out of the truck they're going to bomb the truck twice. They're going to remove my mattresses, throw them away, and put new mattresses in. And they're going to lodge me at a different hotel. Once they said at a different hotel, trust me, I was freaking out about that. I'm like, well, what's the chance that I'm gonna not, you know, what if they give me bad bugs too? You know, I'm over here like, I don't even wanna be in a hotel room. They didn't have no other protocol besides that. There was no other way for me to be able to get my truck bombed if I wasn't going to be lodged at a hotel. So I'm like, fine. So I'm at this um, terminal, and I mean, it took me all day because I have a bunch of stuff in my truck. I have like um, drawers, and I have storage bins and things like that. And I'll say it took me like five hours because I had to pack all this stuff and and I wanted to throw some stuff away too just because I felt like you know since I'm taking all this stuff out I might as well take the stuff that truly isn't needed and throw it away so I was pretty much just completely packing packing everything out and I thought that they were going to take the mattresses out but they needed me to take it out so I was struggling with throwing the mattresses in a big old dumpster too my little short self so from about nine in the morning to around 4 35 I was completely getting rid of all of my belongings putting them in bags putting them in boxes and all of that and they had it where they had this empty trailer and I was supposed to put all of my belongings that I wasn't taking with me to the hotel in that empty trailer and it was gonna put a lock on it mind you I'm feeling weary about this because I'm like, well, there's a chance that the belongings that I packed still has bed bugs. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, because I brought my bags in for like two hours, three hours, and then I had bed bugs in my truck. So who's to say, you know? I'm like, none of this stuff seems etched in stone. It doesn't seem like all this work that I'm gonna do is going to completely alle uh, uh, alleviate me of bed bugs. But this was protocol so I went ahead and did everything and I was spraying my stuff and all of that I have um alcohol by the way I had alcohol so it was a spray bottle full of alcohol so I was spraying stuff and all of that stuff cleaning stuff and everything so I end up having to stop at this coin laundry they drop me off at this coin laundry before I can go to my hotel room right and so there i have to wash all of my stuff so i'm washing comforter sets i'm washing all of this stuff it took so long i was like i had so much stuff to wash i had comforters i had blankets i had clothes i had clothes that i wasn't even wearing anymore because the seasons changed so i went from winter to summer but i was washing all of the fabrics i was washing rugs i was washing everything it took forever so i finally washed all my stuff Meanwhile, whatever they're doing, I apparently apparently they're bombing my my truck and they're like detailing it and everything and all of that. So, I 
end up going to a hotel where I completely stripped everything because in my mind I'm like you know what I already dealt with the hotel in a bed bug situation so at this point now I'm about to completely strip this bed like I almost felt like I wanted to sleep like somewhere else like in somewhere else like I felt like if I found anything there was gonna be a problem anyways so I I completely stripped the bed I made sure that there was nothing I mean I had a I had my phone flashlight like looking at the bed and stripping it I took off all of the sheets and things like that and that in itself was grossing me out because I mean you know a hotel has been lived in multiple times so it's like I really didn't want to do that but I did that so anyways I stripped it to the mattress and then put the sheets back on and slept on the bare sheets I didn't even put the, the covers on me and like I took a shower and all this and I was there for a couple days like maybe three days I finally come back and I had to put all of my stuff back in my truck so I'm like cleaning my truck but I'm like shaking through my stuff that was in a trailer and re-putting everything back inside of my truck long story short I didn't end up with bed bugs again right so thank god um this is like maybe two three months ago I don't have bed bugs anymore as a stem. I have not had not one bite I have not seen anything felt anything nothing like that but um that was a horror story for me okay really know why I wanted to tell y'all this but I guess the overall uh, I guess the overall reason is just trying to let y'all know be cautious when it comes to going to hotel rooms I never would have thought that I would end up with a bug problem in a truck but I ended up with bed bugs in my truck okay there was points and times where like there was like a night where I was freaking out because I didn't know if I was getting bit or not because you you know after reading Google and you find out that they have these numbing agents these bed bugs are able to numb your skin where you don't feel that they're biting you and just the knowledge of knowing that there's a bed bug that could be on me right now I was having a hard time sleeping so I'm over here freaking out you know never saw anything but still so that stuff was horrifying waking up with bites and I didn't even know I got bit you know what I'm saying so I just wanted everybody to know um if you have a company that has you lodge at hotels or even if you don't just be careful when it comes to hotels period okay as far as I'm concerned what I saw on Google was using alcohol will help um kill bed bugs I think it eats through their their layers and dries them out or something like that they just can't live in that type of environment so if you're spraying alcohol spray it on your bed sheets spray it underneath your mattress above your mattress in nooks and crannies near your bed you know things like that um outside of that um i don't really know any other advice just be careful like as far as when it comes to hotel rooms like strip that bed sis strip that bed <laughs> get you a flashlight i mean honestly don't lodge at no sketchy hotels like i haven't been to a hotel since that not saying that i will never because don't get me wrong if i need to be at a hotel room they're gonna send me to a hotel room but i think i might pay that extra money and get me a nice hotel you know what i'm saying before i let them lodge me at some place and then i gotta deal with something else you know that was so terrifying so yeah, um, also wash your hair every time you come from a hotel room, too. I, I don't know if they stay in your hair, but I have locks. So just knowing that I have locks, I don't like coming from new places back into my domain unless I've washed my hair. You just never know. I'm somebody that feels antsy about stuff like that. Like, I've never seen or felt anything weird in my hair but bed bugs like to hide in all types of areas so i just i feel like you know be careful if you have hair 
especially if you're black and you have like thick coarse hair you never know you think you know but you don't know you can say all day long oh i i keep my hair clean and things like that i do too you know what i'm saying but be careful so that being said um i'm sweating up a storm in here um i gotta figure out a new way to do this because when my truck is on it vibrates the camera and then that's not cute but also um yeah i'm gonna be giving an update on um me leaving because this is probably my last week in this truck um and so i will go ahead and in this video off there but i just wanted to say thank you guys for supporting me it's been crazy i haven't been on youtube in over like two months almost three months and i still um I, i'm still getting subscribers which is blowing my mind and then also i think i'm still receiving comments i'm actually you know surprised about that so we're almost at 800 subscribers um oh yeah i guess that's it Love y'all. This food was bland. Publix do better, okay? I could've actually cooked this myself. No, not the rotisserie chicken, but I could've cooked something. All right, y'all, bye. <laughs> I'm sweating, okay? I am sweating. I'm about to turn this air on, honey. Ooh, Jesus. All right, see y'all later. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.